Hi guys, Lucy here and welcome to my second channel at It's Lucy on a K. But before we get started, be sure to click that like, be sure to click that like button, subscribe or at least comment. That would be greatly appreciated. And I do have a review channel at Lucy on a K. Go check that out if you like uh, product reviews. I do buy products from Amazon Prime and other stores from around where I live. So if you want me to review a product that you're thinking of buying go comment over at that on that channel on one of my videos uh, I'll be sure to read that um, and if it's within my budget I'll be sure to buy it so anyway back to this video right here I am kind of excited about this video I am excited about this video we are going to be trying acrylic paint pouring now I absolutely love crafting I'm a crafty kind of person and um, it kind of like helps me de-stress I thought this concept was kind of cool because of all of the videos that I have watched on acrylic paint pouring I mean go go check some of those videos out just YouTube acrylic paint pouring the the professional artists and stuff like that their their acrylic paint pouring is absolutely phenomenal we're gonna do my version um and which is the dollar tree version <laughs> so kind of ease my way into it i don't want to spend like a lot of money and then kind of mess everything up if they actually turn out great then i will be mailing them to some of my friends and family anyway so we're gonna go to the dollar store we're gonna go to the dollar tree and then we're gonna come back here and we're going to make Mix up the paint for pouring and we're just gonna pour it all out on a canvas so let's go mom just to let you know I'm recording run hello guys did you miss me okay I bought supplies from Dollar Tree and now I just have to prep our table I don't want it to get messy. So we're just gonna use lined note paper and regular computer paper. Okay, so we have my workspace and now let's take a look at my bag. So I bought three canvases. They had like fall colors. So we're looking at purple, orange, red, white, black, and blue. Let's get started. And all the in all the paint pouring, like in all the paint pouring videos I have watched, actual canvas is propped up on cups or like plastic uh, proppers. I guess the canvas can be painted on or poured on. Where's that pen when you need one? So I am improvising. We are going to be using these paper cups today. I'm just gonna open the canvas here. Get out of here, fly. So I also, besides the paint, I did buy this pouring medium at the Dollar Tree and it says instructions, mix well with Sargent Art acrylic paint, pour, swirl, and rotate the paint on your support for infinite composition. The finished product will dry to a resin-like finish. For best results, apply a coat of Sargent Art Acrylic Gloss Medium to varnish the finished piece. So we're gonna, I guess you need, you always need a, a medium for pouring. We're gonna pour a little bit into the cup, or maybe just this. Actually, we're gonna do four. Purple, red, or scarlet, white, and orange. Let's start pouring, shall we?
that was number one. <laughs> I know what I need to do differently now, I think. But first, I need to get something to eat. I was just poisoned or not. I'm hoping not, but if I am, send love to my family. I accidentally just consumed acrylic paint. This tastes gross. I had a feeling we were gonna be running out of white, so I bought more. Ah! Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. All right. I'm excited to see how this one's going to turn out, to be quite honest. Ah. So the last one I actually forgot to pour white paint on, and I've seen some people pour white paint on. black and white one. That's what I really wanted to do. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do it today. Woo! Sorry guys. We're going to do one last pour today. And this is going to be my, this is actually my last canvas that I bought. The third one. So this is my third pour. And we're just going to go simple black and white with this one. I have decided. <laughs> white maybe just a little more black
guys so let me just show you a close-up of what i did and disclaimer i just i realized that i didn't have anything to spin the paint on and a lot of times people have something to spin canvases on and i don't so i just had to shape i had to shake up my canvases so this is how they turned out um this one this one and my favorite i think is this one I'm excited to see how they turn out, but for now I'm gonna let them dry overnight and then come back to them tomorrow. Hi guys, so it is the next morning. I literally just woke up, um, hence my hair, and I'm so sorry. But these are the paintings. It looks like they have dried a little bit. They're still tacky in places. They have mostly dried, so I'm going to keep the fan on these bad boys um, throughout the day. Um, you can see like this right here is still wet. Right here is still wet. For the most part, the sides have dried, so I'm just gonna like prop them on their sides. Okay, so here are the three, final time. One, two, and three. To be honest, ooh, to be honest, I really do like how they turned out. Will I be doing it? Will I be doing paint pouring again? I'm not sure if inspiration so leads me, maybe. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please press that like button, comment, subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to click that little notification bell so that you never miss another one of my uploads. Love you guys. Thank you again. Bye. Mess to clean up.